Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Aaron. Today we're going to be talking about an extremely underrated guitar, and that is the Revolta Combinata. Now the reason why I say this guitar is underrated is because honestly I don't see a lot of people playing these and I don't understand why. They are amazing guitars. The first thing that you notice about this guitar is obviously its beauty. I mean it is one of the most beautiful guitars I think I've ever seen in person. From the body shape to the finish to the hardware to the just overall aesthetic of this guitar is just absolutely gorgeous. The chamber mahogany body adds warmth and sustain, while the maple neck and ebony fretboard add snappiness to the feel. The set neck adds sustain and enhances the feel of vibrations from the guitar to your hands and body. The frets have a 12 inch radius, while the nut width is 1.687 inches, which is a little wider than the guitars that I'm used to playing, but I really like it. It's super comfortable. And at 24 frets, it adds a modern functionality, even though the aesthetics of the guitar is very vintage and retro. Now the pickups on this guitar are custom P90s and they sound great. The bridge is nice and bright and clear while the neck pickup is nice and warm. Now my favorite pickup selection in this guitar is the middle or the second selection where it blends both pickups together and it also is hum canceling in that selection. The Wilkinson Cluson style tuners look great and they also stay in tune really well. Now my personal favorite thing about this guitar is the Duesenberg Le Trim 2. It's an extremely stable and smooth tremolo system. It feels like it stays in tune way better than a Bigsby, but then it feels smoother in like a wider arc than something you would have on like a trim block system. Designed by Dennis Fano, the Revolta guitars are built in Korea and then sent to Novo Guitars in Nashville for a final quality control check and setup. This offers a true boutique quality at a more affordable price point. Let's listen to a nice clean example of this guitar. I'm going to be plugged into my Matchless Chieftain profile using my Kemper. I'm going to have a touch of reverb and post and I'm going to have the pickup selector in the middle so it's going to be blending both pickups and again that's going to be hum canceling.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a person that loves the retro vintage vibe, but you want more of that modern functionality, I really think this is the guitar for you. If you ever get a chance to play one, don't pass it up. If you enjoyed this video or got anything out of it, please give me a like. Also, please subscribe to this channel. I'd love your support. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.